I said it, our friend Aquaphor is disgusting, okay? Even Aquaphor for babies, newsflash, it's the exact same formula. People just marketing throws babies on it so we think it's safer. Why? active ingredient is petrolatum. Petrolatum is typically going to be contaminated. It is a byproduct of gas and oil industry. Also, uh, <laughs> one of the main ingredients, it's petrolatum and mineral, mineral oil. Both sludge left over from the gas and oil industry that they sell to the cosmetics industry for pennies on the dollar <laughs> because, oh, it makes skin so slippery. And there's not a single beneficial thing happening with aquaphor there's not like nourishing healing ingredients in it all it's doing is it's creating a slick on the skin and i will show got a phone call okay i'm going to show the difference so it's creating like a barrier right so it's highly recommended for things like rashes or chapped skin tattoos because it keeps water from penetrating in or it keeps water from getting out but there's not actually anything nourishing or yummy ingredient wise here that's beneficial to the skin it's just adding a goopy surface we've all tried vaseline before or aquaphor right this is a fantastic alternative it's going to look similar um, anybody that has a baby should have this, but like Miguel uses this. I use this. This is called balm for all. It used to be called our baby balm because we had marketed it for babies, but then so many people used it all the time. You see, it still has that same slick, but use this if you get anything like maybe like you had a cold and your nose is raw from blowing it so much, or you have a sunburn you have a tattoo that you need to cover up after, oh, it's fantastic after like Brazilian waxes or anywhere where you get waxed because not only is it creating like a good barrier, right? You see that slick still there, but the ingredients in here are gonna, it's botanical oils. It's not petroleum oils. It's not synthetic oils. So botanical oils, when looked under like a microscope, molecular level, are tinier. Shea butter is one of the main ingredients. And if you know my past, you know I know me some shea butter, dude. I tested every shea butter. There's not very many base shea butters in America. They all come from Africa and there's only like three major brands. I have tested and know every shea butter, how to mix it with the right oil. This was my baby for years and years and years was creating shea butter for one of my spas. The reason that shea butter is so great is because on a molecular level, it interacts, like it mimics or like works synergistically with skin cells the best out of any other type of botanical or synthetic oil. So it absorbs and heals fantastically. So with shea butter as one of the bases and jojoba oil, those are two of the most nourishing healing ingredients. You're actually going to get healing from an outside source. So you're going to help to speed up healing as opposed to this. The only reason healing's happening is because it's just like protecting it. So it's like, hurry up skin, do your thing. Hurry up. I won't let anything come out. I won't let anything come in. Go, go, go. Where this is like, Hurry up, but also here's some helpers. I'm going to give you some nourishment to help speed up your regeneration, to help your compromised skin feel better, look better, and be healthier. So Balm for All is fantastic. At the very least, just throw this away. I don't know if I had mentioned, yes, contaminant, but contaminant with carcinogens link, linked to endocrine disruptors. Let's see. Um, I brought this up because I know I can never say it. So both petroleum oil and mineral oil are linked to estrogen dominance xenoestrogens, meaning things from the outside world that are not actually estrogen, but that our body recognizes an estrogen when they go into our bloodstream, which because um, if people are using this on babies, a lot of times we're using this on open wounds. People use it near any type of orifices. You see it's like don't use on anywhere, right? Your private areas, around ears, nose, mouth, because they don't want it going in. Um, they're administered directly to babies through the use of petroleum jelly and baby oil. Mineral oil products also lead to estrogen dominance in men, low sperm count, low sex drive, testicular and prostate cancers. And I'm sorry, a lot of people will use this kind of stuff on rashes, on baby rashes, putting it right there. And it's linked to all those bad things.